What's up, bros? What's up, cousins? Uh, Alright, guys. So, we just finished our first test of our third term, uh, containing stuff about epidemiology, biostats, immunology, and microbiome. Super, super exciting. And, yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to make a really quick video. It was on my mind this whole time about what you need to bring to St. George's Universe, or SGU, <laughs> and what you need to bring to SGU because a lot of students are coming in right now, so this is for you. So, I will get started. Uh, number one, a laptop, and uh, even this um, like laptop stand. And uh, number two, actually, it should be number one, uh, an iPad Pro uh, with the pencil. The one piece of advice my friend gave me, he's about a year ahead of me, uh, before I came here, he said, whatever you do, just get the iPad. The biggest one, which is the 12 inch, 12.9 or five or whatever, but the 12 inch, get the biggest one and don't cheap out and get the pencil too. So I did that with uh, no argument or anything. And, and I will make, honestly, I'll make a whole nother video for it on how, how you utilize an iPad in medical school and uh, just so you can see how apparent it is that you do need it. Um, so anyways, that's number one. Number two, yeah, uh, you. it also helps to have two screens. I really like playing my lectures up on the laptop while, while um, you know, kind of having my iPad to take notes. Secondly, with your iPad or with your iPhone or anything like that, get yourself um, one or two, I, I'd say two of these uh, 10 foot Apple chargers. They're really good. Um, and just, yeah, get yourself the durable one, uh, just so you're not, you don't find yourself in any trouble. But yeah, really good because it helps to have a long one, um, depending on where you're studying, on which side of the table you're sitting on in some certain study halls or anything like that. So just go ahead and get yourself two of these. It's not that expensive. All right. All right. Okay. So these, uh, I use this for working out. I kind of use this to study. Uh, I kind of just fell in that kind of, I saw everybody else getting one, so I was like, oh yeah, let me go until I need it. Anyways, a certain study halls that you study in uh, is kind of an open study situation, so you're gonna hear people talking to themselves, uh, talking, talking to themselves. Things could get loud in certain study halls, but you might find it that you kind of like studying in those open study halls instead of being in the, you know, the really, the like ultimate silence type of study hall. You want to get yourself some noise canceling headphones. Uh, these are the Sony 1000 X's and then there's also the Bose QC35. But get yourself uh, the Bose ones because it's really comfortable and I think that is the most important thing. You want some headphones that you could be uh, wearing for like six, seven hours straight without even feeling or you know, no ear sweats, no pain, no ear pinching or anything like that. No ear heating or whatever you call it. I use these for working out and they are the best things I've ever had. Uh, they pooped out on me last term, midway through. So I don't know, get yourself two or get yourself a really cheap backup pair of Bluetooth headphones. If you find yourself in the dorms or actually in any apartment, uh, you're going to want to get yourself one of these. And it's really good. Uh, it might look crazy. It charges, by the way, which is super cool. That's crazy. But I know, you know, I might look crazy telling you to bring this, but um, probably one of the coolest things I ever brought here. And I'm really grateful because sometimes a mosquito will get into your room somehow. And, uh, <laughs> and especially if it gets into your bedroom and you have to go to sleep, that's probably one of the worst like situations you could find yourself in. So this is really dope. It's um, it saved my life a bunch of times and uh, has taken the lives of many. Get yourself like eight of these, honestly. Uh, really good. These are the, you find it at cost, no, not Costco, uh, Target or Walmart. Um, this is like the smaller size. There's larger sizes too, but you could, you have two shelves up here and uh, they're pretty long. So you could honestly fit like three of these or even four of these just side by side by side. And then the second row, you know, put four side by side by side, and it looks really good, keeps everything really organized, and is extremely useful and super easy to pack. Did I talk about the, uh... 
Oh, okay, the stand, right? So you could buy, so this is like a pretty elaborate laptop stand and I even have one for my iPad. Um, they're both pretty cheap and I just, in my first term, we were going pretty hard for MSK Anatomy um, and we were, you know, pulling, you're basically going to be studying for 8 to 10 hours straight and you're going to be looking down a lot and uh, uh, I, I found to have some really bad neck pain and I wish I had one of these just to, just to save, you know, just to, I don't know, save the neck and uh, save my neck and uh, um, yeah, uh, I because I was in a lot of pain just from looking down a lot. So this will really save you uh, in the long run. It kind of seems a little excessive right now, uh, especially it was wasn't anything I ever thought of because I don't really look down at my phone that often anyway. So because um, nobody texts me, nobody loves me. This is a shoe dehumidifier. Sounds crazy, but uh, it's very humid out here. Um, and especially if you work out or you got some workout shoes or whatever, uh, you're going to be, your shoes are going to be wet by the end of your workout. Uh, I'll put your shoes on here and it can go for like two hours straight and it will just start pumping hot air and it dries your shoes really well. And it also folds. So it's really easy. Uh, bought off, everything here is basically you can buy off Amazon, but yeah, um, really easy to, uh, pack. It doesn't take up that much space. It's really lightweight too, but also a pretty key thing because you don't want to be the dude with smelly feet. So yeah, I was one of those people who have never even had smelly feet or smelly, sh even smelly shoes. As soon as I came down here, even brand new shoes that I would get, um, start smelling within about a month. So that is something to uh, keep in mind. Bring some shoes that you don't mind getting dirty, just like your everyday wear type of shoe, um, that you don't mind getting dirty or muddy. Um, or that you could work out in or you know stuff like that you got some really harsh lights up here Like these things are just super bright and they're in your face So if you could come home after a very stressful day and you know be able to like string lights are like 10 bucks from Amazon with the remote and everything You just have some string lights around your room, especially if you're in the dorms. It's very easy to it's probably a Necessary a necessity because it's you know the walls are so bare so it really just you know livens it up and but you know you could turn off the lights you could turn that on, turn on some cool music, and just kind of chill out and start relaxing as you, you know, go over that last lecture. If you are even a whiteboarding person, so don't be too afraid if you aren't a whiteboard person, which I wasn't, and then I was just told, oh, bring a whiteboard, bring a whiteboard, because everybody says whiteboard everything and stuff like that in med school. You got a whiteboard, blah, blah, blah. Sure, that could be for some things, but honestly, if it's not the way you study, then you can find a different way in studying. But go ahead and just, if you will just, just take care of it, just get yourself one of these smaller ones, not a big one, just a small one like this, because it's more importantly, just put it, it's easy to put in your bag. Um, not this damn thing that I have to sell now. Getting yourself a new bag. Uh, I had the Jansport bag. Uh, and I thought I was crazy just even thinking about buying a new bag. I was like, what do I, I have a perfectly good or original Gangster Jansport. And then, uh, um, and I, I just found, I came across this at Target and this was like honestly one of the best buys ever because, uh, I went from just having what that original two pocket thing to like six or seven or eight pockets. And you know, it's really good to have all these extra compartments, especially the sleeve for your laptop or iPad. Um, you know, I put my charges in here and when you're studying, uh, especially in the study halls, you're going to want to basically pack your whole entire day with you or, you know, like your whole room with you. And, uh, it's really good to have these because you can have your, your meds or your, you know, I have allergies. So like my allergy meds are in here, Advil or even, uh, like caffeine pills or, um, you know, pens and whatnot and earphones and chargers and books and all that stuff. So getting a new bag, uh, with multiple compartments and that just seems a little bit more heavy duty, uh, or just kind of new, um, will do you some good. I'm, I'm actually very happy with that. Scrubs, you're going to want to bring uh, a pair or two with you. Um, you got these really nice expensive company that I didn't know about. Uh, it's called Figs. Boom, right there. Figs. And uh, they're really nice, really comfortable and like really high end. 
So it kind of feels like you're wearing pajamas. So I understand why people get this and I'm not a person to spend a crazy amount of money on myself. But yeah, I came in with uh, some Dickies on my first ones, black as well. And then, so it's like cheaper, it was like 30 bucks total or something. And then I went and bought these, I think these were like 70 bucks total. But totally worth it, they fit better, they look better, and they don't wrinkle. I don't know how that's possible, but uh, they just don't wrinkle. And they're really comfortable, and they're like fashionable. Um, so yeah, also, you're probably gonna wanna bring uh, one or two. Uh, you're, you can definitely do it with just one. Uh, actually, I, I did it with just one in my first term. But uh, you, you might want two because uh, while you're doing your anatomy, uh, uh, anatomy module, uh, you will be going to the cadaver lab. The, the formaldehyde smell really uh, sticks on you. So you might want to have one just for that, or just a second pair for your small group because that your smell does radiate off of you. Oh, and also uh, bring, bring a sweater, bring a sweater and some sweatpants, um, bring a sweater or two uh, because these study halls and even your dorm rooms could be getting uh, pretty cold. Uh, so you just wanna be as comfortable as possible while you study, so yeah. I also have a rug in my room, it's a runner. It's just really nice to be able to, cause everything's all tile here. So, you know, you come out of the shower, anything like that, and of course you have like a bath uh, rug or bath mat, but uh, when you come into your room and you're still like, you know, kind of wet, it's nice to be able to step on a rug and it kind of makes you feel really comfortable instead of stepping on top. Also in your first uh, couple weeks here, you're gonna be going through your white coat ceremony and uh, that's probably the one, uh, that's probably just the only reason why you will want to have a, uh, a nice outfit with you. So guys, you don't really need the jacket part. These are just some things that I have found very valuable to have here at SGU. Um, just because getting certain items or electronics or anything like that is just kind of a headache. And uh, it's just best if you kind of get it out of the way and you kind of get it right your first time around. For the students that are coming here, uh, within like a little less than a month now. Um, I will be trying to upload another video as soon as possible, um, kind of as to what your room would look like depending on where you're staying. All right guys, well thank you so much. I hope this was helpful in the least. And, um, and yeah, if you have any other questions on like what to bring or what you think you might need, just, just go ahead and shoot me a line or text me please because I'm lonely and I promise you the iPad get the biggest one you can find uh, and I'm a person who really likes their small things like iPad uh, I always like that smaller iPad I even thought the no original size iPad was way too big I was like who would need that? It's just an oversized phone but the 12 inch is where it's at because uh, most importantly you want to be able to uh, split screen whatever you're doing you want to be able to have that capability and still have like a lot of space um, so yeah um, get the biggest iPad get that pencil with you too and uh, and yeah don't cheap out and and, uh, and a case a case um, just get yourself one of these get get yourself one that has you could hold the pencil in there with you uh, because I didn't have this before and I dropped it my pencil a bunch of times so <laughs> it will drop if you don't have a case uh, that holds on to it so this one's really good this is this is I can't read that Savampro Evapo Sivapo Alright 